Hi, Verbling. My name is Michaela. I'm from Phoenix, Arizona, and today we're talking about the American accent. And if anyone wants to friend me on Facebook, I'm going to put my Facebook name in the chat box. I update about classes there and take any suggestions. If you have a great idea for a class you'd like someone to do or make for you, let me know on Facebook. You can send me a suggestion in message or on my wall and say, I want to see this or I need more practice with something. And I'll make you a class. I will also put our notes in the chat box for today. And if anyone is interested in tutor sessions, check out my profile. I've got open tutor sessions as well. And I'll screen share for anyone who is interested in seeing our notes. Hmm. Maybe my screen share is not working. Hi, Adan. Is that how I say it? Oops. You're muted. Or maybe there's something wrong with your audio. I can't hear you. Still don't hear you. Try your settings at the top. There, okay. You look confident. Confident you'll be able to resolve the issue. <laughs> I'm going to reload. Okay, Adolfo, welcome, to, Adolfo, thanks, welcome to class. Wah. Hi, teacher, how are you? Good, how are you? I'm fine, thank you. Good to have you here today. How's your weekend going so far? Mm, I think it's good, and I stay at home and, and relax. Yeah, no big yeah. plans? Uh, for today, only see the, the match. Uh, the World Cup match between today. Yes. Isn't it uh, tomorrow? All, no, today is Holland versus Brazil for the three and four and four place. Yes. Really? Yes, what? In, well, in I didn't know hour. there was another match. Yes. Today. What time? Uh, in one hour. <gasps> I'm gonna miss it. Oh, that's yes. terrible. I didn't know. Yeah, because I'll be teaching. I didn't know there was another match. Damn. Uh, <laughs> but you uh, can put the, the match in another uh, window, maybe? Yeah, I'll have to like put it on silent. Yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> so I can keep up. I'll be like, you know, teaching, talking, and then all of a sudden I'll be like, yeah! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, thank you for letting me know. I can't believe I was ignorant to the last game. <laughs> Teacher, what, what happened? Yeah, what happened? Someone should have told me. <laughs> and Adan, did you fix your issues? No. Oh, man, how frustrating. I hate when that happens. All right, well, we'll be patient. Um, you can also respond in the chat box so if you ever want to tell us something you're welcome to type it I know that's not not as good as actually talking to us but 
I'll, I'll be checking the chat box for you. Okay. So uh, I put the notes in both of the chat boxes, I think. And I will screen share for you. Hopefully my screen share is working again. Yeah. Okay. So today we're talking about American accents. Why learn American accent? Well, that's question number one, right? So, Hadolfo, do you have any ideas for us on why we would want to learn an American accent? Mm, because it's uh, important uh, that you understand this accent. Uh, mm -hmm. Sometimes it's it's not easy to, to understand the the words that the not the the native speaking speaking uh, say for mm -hmm. for the accent. Yes. Definitely. So, extra practice if you intend to be having to listen to a lot of American English. That's definitely extra practice. Very good. And. Uh, Let's see. All right. So how about the next one? What is a good accent? Quote, good. Adolfo, what do you think? What is a good accent? Mm, uh, maybe uh, a good accent is that you pronounce everything letters of, the, of our words and finish, mm, <coughs> finish letters, uh, maybe D or... TH letters, I don't know. I don't show uh -huh. it. I think you're on the right track. Adan, still nothing? I don't know. Can you hear me now? Hey! Yes, yes, we can hear you. Uh -huh. Wonderful. Uh -huh. Welcome to class. Thank you very much. So I, I think I haven't had you in class before, right? I've never met you before? Yes, sometimes. I did uh, five or six uh, classes on Berlin. But is this your first time with me in my class? Yes, it's first time with you. Great, nice to meet you. Where are you from? I'm from Spain and I live in Zaragoza. It's a city in the northeast of the country between Madrid and Barcelona. And uh, I'm 34 years old, I'm married, I have two daughters, and I'm happy to improve my English here. Excellent. We're happy to have you with us. So, what do you think? Why do you think it's good to learn an American accent? Oh, uh, it's, it's important because uh, a lot of English uh, speakers uh, are uh, in America and they use American accents. Uh, it's easier uh, for a person who can listen the American uh, accent to understand uh, films or radio uh, programs or other... Uh... Mm -hmm. Definitely extra practice listening and speaking will make communication a little easier. And question number two, what is a good accent? Can you describe a little bit what a good accent would be? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, there is no good accent. Uh, uh, I don't know. I don't know. I, I, I thought uh, some uh, uh, months ago that I can understand accents, but I traveled to China one month ago and the English was different there. It's different. Uh, I think a good accent is a neutral accent that helps you to understand I speak with other uh, native and no non-native English spoken. Yeah. Definitely. I think uh, you gave us a pretty good definition there. So a good accent, of course, can be described in a lot of different ways. It's a question about opinion, really. But I think a general term for a good accent would be something neutral, something that allows communication. 
So many learners of English will not necessarily completely lose their foreign accent, but that's not really necessary because a good accent just means that communication is easy and a bad accent would be one where communication is not very easy and the pronunciation causes difficulty for communication. Unfortunately, a lot of students want to lose their accent, but it's not really a productive goal, I think. You can waste a lot of energy into something that's a little bit superficial. Okay, so let's talk about the sounds of American English. Um, oh, Akka, welcome to class. Yes, hello. Good to see you again. Good to see you again. All right. So, oh, Akka, do you have any opinions on the questions mm -hmm. we were just talking about? Like, why mm -hmm. learn an American accent? Okay. Uh, yeah, because, you know, the Americans' population and our American uh, yeah, culture is very influential. So, mm -hmm. yeah, in order to understand the American films and TVs and... Uh, yeah, we need to run the American accents, and sure. it's also the biz business world too. Mm -hmm. and, yeah, so American English is pretty influential. Yeah, actually. So, <laughs> and the second question, good accent. Yeah, I think you know. Yeah, as you said before, you know, kind of, kind of neutral, com uh, understandable accent. I my uh, that's my uh, goal to uh, to. Mastered accent, you know. Maybe as a non-native speaker, I don't, I cannot erase my accent completely, not 100 percent. But uh, I reduce my accent or try to uh, approach to the neutral English to understandable, <laughs> to, mm -hmm. to to be understood at uh, people all over the world. Mm -hmm. Definitely. Thank you very much. So let's talk a little bit about the consonants and then we'll go on to some of the other sounds. So the consonants in English, we have a list of them here. Most of the consonants are going to be the same in American English and any other kind of English. Most of them will be the same with some slight variations. And new student, Tyre, did I say that right? Tyre, Tyre, I don't know how to say it. Tyre, you're muted, so we can't hear you right now. If this is your first class or you're not sure how to unmute yourself, come to the top of your scoops. He's gone. Okay. So, back to what we were talking about. Consonants are going to be pretty much the same in like British English versus American English. The only real differences will be the R sound at the end of words. Um, British English speakers tend to make that R sound a little bit more open, more like a vowel. But for the most part, these consonants will remain constant. Constant consonants. So we have the M as in map, N as in keen, the ink which um, the formatting issue has made this a question mark, and it should not be. But that is actually the ng sound. And it's a nasal sound that's a little bit different from both the M and the N. So things like king or thing, running, we end it in a nasal sound, ng, ng. And it's a little different than the other consonants. P is in pit, B is in bit. T is in tin, D is in din, K or C can make that k, k, k sound like cut, G is in gut, the CH sound or the ch, ch sound, we have the J sound like j, which can also sometimes be represented by a G. Um, sometimes that soft G makes that J sound. An example would be maybe something like garage or 
Giraffe, giraffe would be a better example. So giraffe is spelled with a G, but is makes the same sound as the J. F as in fat, V as in vat, TH as in thigh, and that's the silent TH or the voiceless TH. And then we have the TH as in thy, which is voiced. So we have thy and thy. S as in sap, Z as in zap, delusion, and this one is a j sound. So delusion. Now we don't really have a single letter to represent this sound, but it pops up in a lot of words that end in T-I-O-N, and sometimes in words like genre, like genre of music, we use that j sound. And then of course we have delusion, which is similar. Oh, dilution, I see, dilution and delusion. Similar sounds, but kind of soft sounds there. Um, locks. X, which can, X can be various sounds sometimes. H is in ham. R is in run. Y, which can have various letters represented, but it's a Y sound, Y. W is in we, and L is in left. Do you guys have any questions about those consonants right now? No? Awesome. And we have a new student, Hamed. Welcome to class. Hi, Michaela. How are you? I'm having a great weekend so far. How are you? I'm good, thank you. Do you have the notes open and everything? Sorry, could you repeat what you said again? I, I didn't hear you. Do you have the notes open? No. Okay, I put the notes in both chat boxes if you want to open them and, and keep them. But okay. you're also welcome to look off my screen because I'm screen sharing so you can see the same thing we're talking about on my okay. screen. Okay. Okay. So, there are a lot of consonant sounds, but they're pretty regular for the most part. The less regular part of English is vowels. Vowels can be a little bit harder. And it looks like the The format got a little funny on this one too, but we have some letter repre representations and then examples of those words. So the first sound is a long E sound, and that would be like Eve, see, meet, sleep, meal, read, leave, see, team, field, believe, and receive. And then uh, it starts again. Sorry about the formatting on this. The format got all messed up. But the next sound is a short I sound. And this time I'm going to ask Hodolfo, will you read all of the words that are for the short I sound? I'll highlight them for you. Mm -hmm. Okay, mm, jit, kiss, tip, pick, diner, system, VC, pity, sunny. Thank you. So that would be that I sound. Kiss, tip, pick. And the next sound is represented by this E, which would be like the E. Eh E eh sound. And Hamed, will you read those words for us? I can okay. highlight them for you. Yeah, okay. Which one? Okay. 
let me read it. I don't see it from your screen share. I have problem with my connection, OK? Let me see it in my document. OK, I see it. Elliot, tell, press, send, and, bread, dead, weather, leather. Is that right? Anyone hear me? Hello? Okay, so I thought that problem with me. Okay, the teacher. Sorry about that, guys. Uh, my audio is being a little weird, so I just reloaded my page really quick. And I'm going to assume that we read that section. The Again? next section. Oh, no, 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 go ahead. Uh, we're going to move on. Thank you for reading those, and sorry I was having a little trouble while you were doing it. Okay, no problem. All right. The next section is in brackets we have the uh, symbol for it and then we have the letters that represent it. Could be A, I, A, I, A, Y, E, I, E, Y, and it's that A kind of sound. Aka, will you read these words for us? Okay, uh, I, I lost a uh, uh, text. And oh, totally sorry. I was forgetting that you guys can't see my screen share. Here you go. Okay. Uh, 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 this uh, is the highlighted word. Yep. Okay. Uh, elate. Elate. Make. Race. Able. Stable. Aim. Wait. Play, say, they, eight, wait, they, hey, break, great, steak. Excellent pronunciation. Well done. All right. The next one we have is this weird symbol that looks like an AE together, and it's represented by A most of the time. And I'm going to highlight these and ask, oh, no, that guy left. All right, Rodolfo, go ahead, read him for us. A, a cat, uh -huh. a apple, land, traveled, much, last, class, dance, castle, half. Thank you very much. And the next sound we have is when things are an A combined with an R. And this one right here, I'm going to ask Hamed to read for us. Okay, but I think you have a problem with yours. Okay, it's now open, your screen share. But could you make a zoom in, please, because I don't see it very well. Hello, you hear me, Michaela? Yep. OK. How's okay. that? Yeah, it is good. Thank you. Army, car, party, garden, bark, father, calm, palm, drama. Thank you very much. Okay, and okay. like I said, we have, some, we have a little bit of formatting issue. I'm not really sure why this line is here, because it's repeated. But the next sound we're going to go over is that is this AI symbol, and sometimes it's represented by the I or the IE or the Y. And I'll highlight the words and ask Adan, will you read those ones for us? Uh, yes. Uh, fine, smile, die, lie, die, my, style, Apply by Guy. Thank you very much. And the next one represented by O U or O W. Aka, will you read them? 
like uh, all out, about, house, mouse, now, brown, cow, all, powder. Thank you very much. And we have this simple O sound. And these ones, how about Hadolfo, back to you. Will you read them? Not, rock, model, bottle, copy. Excellent. Thank you. Next is the OR, like or. And below that, we have A W A U and O U G H T. And I'll highlight those words for you. This list will be for Hamed. Okay. What you're saying? Okay. Order, cord, ord, long, gong. Sorry, I don't see the last letter. It is gong or gone. Gone. Cost, coffee, law, saw, pause, because, bought, thought, caught, haul, always, water, war, want. Thank you very much. Okay. And the next ones are the OI. So we're getting into some diphthongs where we kind of have to change that vowel sound halfway through. Aka, will you read these? Okay. Oil, voice, noise, boy, toy. Thanks. And then we have the OU. And Adan, will you read them? Uh, note, open, old, most, road, boat, low, own, bow, bowl. Thank you very much. And um, next up, usually represented by U, E, U, or E, W. These ones are for Hadolfo. Duty. Music, cute, huke, tune, hue, dupe, mew, new, cubsins, cute, mits, cute, neutral, hue, tsu, du, su, tsu, suit. Thank you. And this one here is euphemism. Euphemism. Mm. And this one is, is one that people make a lot of, uh, frequently make mistakes with because words like Cuba, they're a diphthong, that EU sound. All right, next could be O, double O, E, U, U, E, U, I, O, U. And I'm going to highlight all these words and ask Hamed to read them for us. Okay. Ruth, Lucy, June, do, move, room, tool, crew, chew, flu, drill, blue, crew, fruit, juice, group. Throw, road. Thanks. And that last one, sometimes people pronounce it as route and other people pronounce it as root. And for this particular uh, vowel sound, it should be root. Okay. I thought it is route because uh, it depends. Double, double o. Some, okay. Yeah, sometimes people do say it route. It just depends on the person. Okay. All right. We'll go down to some double O sounds. And Aka, will you read them for us? Okay. Outlook, book, hoot, good, put, push, pull, pull, sugar, wood, could, uh, shoot, 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 neutral, uh, sound. Yeah, you can just end with should. Like I said, I, I'm really not sure what happened to the the format of this, I must have uh, saved it in a weird way or something. So some of those are strange. 
but I'll just highlight the words that we're going to be talking a little more about today. The next sound is the uh sound, and this list is for Adan. Okay. Uh, gan, cat, son, money, love, soaked, in out, roped, about, brutal, taken, violent, memory, reason, family. Thank you. And just a couple notes on pronunciation here. These O-U-G-H words are actually, they sound like they're, they end in an F. So that's tough, enough, and rough. And then this family, the I is actually more like an a uh sound. So in American English, we really don't say family, we say family. And reason, and memory. So sometimes we just completely ignore whatever vowel is written, and we replace it with that a uh sound. All right. Last one, and then we can get on to some other more interesting topics. I'm going to highlight it and ask Adolfo to read. Car servant, hair, barn, hood, gear, seer, work, word, doctor, dollar, Heart, carn, carnis, cut. Thank you. So we just listed all of the consonant and vowel sounds that are contained in the English language. And I think you guys had a pretty good job with them. But sometimes it's good to have a little more information about these sounds. And there's one site that I think is like one of the most helpful sites possible. And I put a link there for you. But if it doesn't link up, you can just copy paste it into a new tab. And we will visit it together. I'll show you guys exactly what it does. So it's really helpful because it has all of the sounds of American English. And it gives you more information about them. So it'll say the manner, which is like the way you produce it. We have a stop, which is something that you can't sustain. So that would be p, b, t, d, k, and g. And those sounds, you can't sustain those sounds. They're, they last only for like a second. They're kind of explosive. So p, you, you build up pressure behind your mouth, and then you let it explode. And that's called a stop. There's fricative, which is something you can sustain, usually by vibration. So that would be and h, the h sound. All right. You have an affricate, which is ch and sh. Nasal sounds, which are m, n, and this symbol, which is the sound you hear at the end of thing, king, and running, that ng sound. Liquids, which are l and r, and glides, w and j. But the most interesting thing about this is that they uh, they'll give you they'll give you a um, an example. Let me see if I can make it do this. So you can just kind of explore this on your own time, but it'll show you how to make the the sounds which are voiced and voiceless. And you can select one of the sounds, like for instance, I just selected the TH sound here. And it'll show you what your mouth does. So if you play this, it shows you that your tongue goes forward until it's between your teeth. And you just let a little bit of air through. So if you ever have a question, this is an excellent place to go. You can also hear the sound. 
by playing this little video. So you can explore that, but it's a really, really helpful pronunciation site for you guys to have. All right, moving on. Any questions before we go on about the site or about the sounds? Uh, no. Awesome. Then let's talk a little bit about what you guys struggle with. Hadolfo, what do you struggle with the most in pronunciation? Excuse me, teacher, can you repeat, please? What do you struggle with the most in pronunciation? I, I struggle with? I, I don't understand the, the struggle question. Struggle would be something difficult. that's very... Yeah, <laughs> thanks. Something very difficult. Mm, okay. Mm, maybe uh, the regular verb in the past. Uh, I forget, forgot... Mm, sometimes uh, pronounce the the last the last letter. Or I see. So things in the past tense like talked, walked, wanted, needed, things yes, like uh, that. Yes. Yes. Uh, sometimes I I I I don't pronounce the 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 last letter. Ah, I see. That's an important one. Um, Hamed, what do you struggle with the most in your pronunciation? Yes, you know, my, my native language is Arabic, so we some letters we don't exist in Arabic language, like uh, I, I wrote some of them in chat box, like P and B and V and F. So sometimes I make a mistake with, with, with these letters. Mm -hmm. and, yeah, and also the letter R, because we we pronounce the R in my native language. It is different when when I ha and have to to pronounce it in English. So it is a difficult to me, kind of. Mm -hmm. Definitely, yeah. I could see how that would be really tough, and it's yeah. something many students struggle with. Definitely. All right, Aka, what do you struggle with the most in pronunciation? Yeah. Uh, S H S E C and C and H H A and H E H hard and hard and yeah, L, L, L and R load and road. Mhm. Mm yeah. And and one more V. Bit and wet. <laughs> Bit yeah. and wet. <laughs> Difficult to make the difference. Those are pretty similar sounding letters. T definitely. Especially Adan, the two is very difficult to distinguish to me. What's difficult? A fast two. C and C and C and C and she. Hard and hard. Yeah, hard and heard are difficult because that vowel sound is really close. Mm -hmm. the I think vowels can be sometimes more complex or at least certainly irregular. Vowel sounds can be really irregular. And Adan, what do you struggle with the most in pronunciation? Uh, I have problems with G, uh, H, note, code, and with the T, H. Uh, I, I, it's difficult for me the difference between Thursday and Tuesday. It's uh, Tuesday uh, and Thursday. Yes, yes. I never ah. know <laughs> the, the, what day is the day. <laughs> I, I, I'm always confused. Um, so, is your problem with hearing the differences or producing the differences between those two, or both? Maybe. Listening the difference and pronouncing too, mm. yes. But maybe listening. And I have problems too uh, with verbs in past. The e d. Uh, I I say it, but when I listen, sometimes I don't know if uh, other people is speaking in present or in past. It can be hard because sometimes that ED is really pronounced very softly. Like, for instance, walked, the W-A-L-K, 
it's pronounced walked with almost like a T at the end. And yeah, that can be really hard to hear. So um, we're going to do a couple exercises to talk about producing the sounds ourselves. Because some people find it helpful to warm up. So we have some warm-ups here. These are vocal warm-ups that might help you guys before you come into a class or before you decide to practice your pronunciation. Sometimes it's good to just kind of like warm up, loosen up your, your mouth and your vocal cords just the same as you might do before a workout or before running or some, some kind of physical exercise. So I collected a list of... Oops. I collected a list of vocal warm-ups here, and I'm going to have you guys try some of them out. And since we don't have that many people in class today, you might each get to do two. Uh, Don, will you do number one for us? Just read it and try your best to, to loosen up your vocal cords a little bit as you say it. Yes, all right. Ba, da, ga, da. Ba, da, ga, da. Ba, da, ga, da. No, but this is in Spanish. I don't know to read it in English. <laughs> be, <laughs> ba, no, sorry. Ba, no, that's be, pretty good. Yes, ba, da, yeah. ga, da. Ba, da, yeah. ga, da. Ba, da, ga, da. Ba, da, ga, da. Yeah, so this one, it's just a warm-up, so we're just kind of like going back and forth between different sounds. Good job. Number two, Aka, will you try number two for us? Okay. Pata kata, pata kata, pata kata, pata kata, pata kata. Thanks. So these are, yeah, they're just warm-ups. You don't have to get too uh, stressed about pronunciation yet. Hamed, will you do number three? Yes, of course, okay. Va, la, wa, la, va, la, wa, la, va, la, wa, la, va, la, wa, la, va, la, wa, la. Thank you very much. Okay. And Hadolfo, do number four. Wa, la, 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 wa, la. Okay, and make sure, try to uh, force that V sound, and I'm going to just show you really quick something, my pronunciation. Okay, so for that V sound, you're going to want to touch your teeth to your mouth versus the W sound. W is W, and the V sound is more like V, V. So for that one... Those V's sounded, number for number four, those V's sounded a little bit soft. I know in, in Spanish usually it's pronounced a little softer than in English, but it's more wa la va la wa la va la All right. wa la, wa la. We, Yeah, much better. And um, Aloisa? Hello. Welcome to class. Me? Yeah, I can hear you perfectly. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Glad to have you here with us. Where are you from? I'm from the Netherlands. Very nice to meet you. Thank you. Do you have our notes open and everything? Well, I was watching the class uh, for a while, so I know what you're doing, yes. Great. Well, we're doing a, a few warm-ups, and these aren't so much... You don't have to be stressed about pronunciation. They're just vocal warm-ups to get us started in pronunciation. Will you read number five for us? Ookt, 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 oikt, oikt. Thank you very much. So these are good for vowel pronunciation in your warm-up. And they also kind of help because English tends to be heavy in consonants or heavier than some languages like Latin languages have a lot of vowels but English is much heavier in consonants so these ones would be great for that kind of pronunciation and I'll do number six and then we'll finish up this list and move on so number six is 
Ugd, ogd, ogd, agd, eigd, eegd. So some people might have trouble with that gd, ugd, ogd, ogd. But it's a good, if you can manage it, it's a good mouth pronunciation to warm up with. Number seven. Adan, will you do number seven for us? Of course, number seven. Opt, opt, abd, 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 ibd. Thank you very much. Number eight, Hodolfo. Opt, 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 out, abd, abd, ibd. Thanks a lot. And number nine, Hamed. Okay. Odo, say, nodo, bay, strado, way. Thank you. So this one kind of goes back and forth, making a comparison between different sounds. Okay. And I'm going to do one of these exercises while you guys can see me so you can compare yourself. So one thing that is really good for improving pronunciation is watching someone's mouth, probably a native speaker, as they're pronouncing something. It'll help you understand a little better and it, you can model yourself as well. So if you watch someone do it, then you can practice it yourself. So I'm going to do number six again and this time I'm going to just do it so you guys can see me and watch me make those vowel sounds because some of those vowel sounds didn't sound really distinct. I know it's hard to make the difference, but number six we have oogd, ogd, 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 eigd, eegd. And there's a progression here. We start really closed mouth, like ooh, ooh, ooh. Our mouth is really small right? And then with ogd, my mouth is a little bit larger. Ogd, even larger. Ogd, even larger. And then eigd and eegd, my mouth starts to grow out a little bit. Instead of open up, it starts to get flat and open wide. So for that progression, I suggest you guys try that, like in front of a mirror, and watch your mouth. Oogd, small. Oogd, a little larger. Ogd, a little larger. Agd, even larger. And I and eegd start to get wider. So that's a great exercise to do in front of the mirror before you get into pronunciation practice. All right, so we'll go back to our notes for a second. And now after we have warmed up, we're going to start using actual English words. So this is a vowel comparison. And again, practice these in front of a mirror. If you have the time, it's great for you to watch yourself and how you're pronouncing it. And the format is totally messed up. I'm not sure why there are all these numbers here. But number one, I'm going to read it for you guys, and it's using B and a lot of different vowel sounds. So even though we only have, say, like five vowels, letters in English, we combine those vowel sounds to make a lot of different actual sounds. So number one, we have bean, bin, ben, ban, bar, Born, bond, boom, beauty, book, burn, bun. And I'll read that for you guys one more time while you guys can see my mouth because each of those vowel sounds is different. So make sure you're making a distinct sound for each of those words. None of them are the same vowel. Bean, bin. Ben, ban, bar, born, bond, 
boom, beauty, book, burn, fun. And these are examples of the vowels that we went over earlier. So earlier in the document when we were talking about vowel sounds and we read all of those words, we basically just found a word from each of those categories that we already talked about today. And we gave an example. That way you can compare them back to back. Another really good exercise is minimal pairs. So for instance, bin and ben are the word number two and word number three in this um, first exercise we have here. Those are minimal pairs because the difference between the word bin and the word ben is just one sound. So comparing those words back to back can really help you improve pronunciation to make the difference between those two vowel sounds. Bin, ben. Ben, ban. Ban, bar. Bar, born and so on and so forth. So again, I'm going to assign each of you one of these. You guys can practice it for a couple seconds and then say it for the class. And unfortunately, we're not going to have much time today to go over all of them because we only have six minutes left. But these are excellent exercises for you guys to do on your own as well. So number two will be Hadolfo. Number three, Hamed. Number four, Aloisa. Number five, Aka. And number six, Adan. And Carlos, are you there? Carlos? Hi, hi, can you hear me? Hello, yep, hello. I can hear you now. Excellent. Oh, good, good. I, I, just, uh, I just made the, the inscription in Berlin. So this is my first lesson, my very best first lesson. Uh, <laughs> Wonderful. <lesson now>. Unfortunately, <laughs> you only have about five minutes left in this class because. Okay. okay. <laughs> uh, because but you you no, you can okay. still have time to participate with us. Okay. What are you talking about? What's the topic? We're talking about pronunciation. Good. And we're reading these exercises. They're pronunciation exercises. Will you do number seven for us? You're going to practice it for a few minutes on your own okay. and then read it to us. Okay, thanks. Awesome. I'll give you guys maybe one minute to practice and then we're going to read them all. Uh, I read number two, teacher? Yeah, go ahead. Uh, okay. Am I number five? Oh, wait. Sorry. Uh, yeah, Aka, okay. you're number five. Okay. All right, Hadolfo, go for it. Bin, bin, ben, ban, bar, born, bond, boom, beauty, book, warned, boon. Thank you very much. And did you, which one did you read? Were you reading this one? No, number one, teacher, I... You were reading this I, one? No. I read number one. Okay, so you were reading the one that I'm highlighting right now. Okay, uh, number two? I read number two? Yes. Oh, okay. Pit, uh, pit, pet, pat, part, port, pot, pull, pew, put, pull, and push, push. Thank you very much. All right, next up, Hamed. Are you ready? Yeah, but I forgot what number I have to read. <laughs> You're going to be on number three, which I'm going to highlight because I know the numbers are really confusing. Okay, I will. Okay, number three. Okay. Lead, lead, read, read, feel, fall, deal, do, heal, hold, help, team, team. Keen, can, seen, sin, teen, ten, leave, live. But, but sorry, Michaela, it is live or live? I don't know. It is noun or verb. <laughs> well, this one happens to be live because right here, this exercise is 
practicing the difference between the long E sound and the short I sound. Okay, thank you. Thank you. And Aloisa, will you go next? Uh, the number four, eh? starting with eat fish. That was yes. the one I should do. Mm -hmm. Eat fish, be sick, feel ill, see him, meet Bill, deal with, read this, beat it. Sorry Thank for the you noise. Very much. No, totally fine. Great. Thank you. And next up, Aka, go for it. Okay. No, number five, right? Mm hmm. Okay. Uh, Bill, Bell, feel, fell, tell, tell. Him, ham, pin, pen, tin, ten, win, when, bit, bet, did, dead, lit, less, since, sense. Thank you. Great job. And a done. Bet, bat, met, mat, pet, pat, set, shat, mesh, mash, break, rack. Pick, pack, letter, letter, better, butter. Thank you very much. Ladder and of course, ladder, ladder, ladder. Yes. Ladder, ladder, ladder. All right. Later would be with one T. All right. Crazy English, very irregular. And Carlos, are you ready? Hi, hi. No, I haven't. I haven't followed the the, um, the reading in this moment. Okay. All right. Well, then we'll catch you next class. Okay. Next class. Okay. Okay. All right. No, Good to meet you. I, I I tried to to download the the file. This file. Uh -huh. so I ah. I haven't I haven't paid attention uh, to to the reading. So next. Time, okay. Don't, don't next time. Next time. All right. See you guys. Thanks for everything. Thank you. Bye-bye. Okay. Bye-bye, everybody. Bye-bye. Okay.